Welcome everyone and thank you again for checking out another video of mine and today we are looking at a new indie title called The Land of Ias. I think I'm saying that correctly. What we are looking at is a um, very, very interesting game. Um, it was released on July 21st so it's actually just recently been out to a pretty positive response on Steam and they describe this as lost with no memory of where he is or how he got there. He is on a quest to get home but how do you know which way to go when you can't tell which way is up and which is down? It is a puzzler uh, platform type game, and I have to tell you, uh, it takes some getting used to. You get a really quick, brief sort of run and jump kind of tutorial, and you're set right in here. Now, these first few steps, you're, you're getting the storyline. You're starting to understand that you have to do certain tasks in order for this figure to be able to restore your memories or, or, or I guess get you back to where you're wanting to go and um, it is it is very hard to get used to I, I'm not gonna lie I don't know that this is a game for me I'm not a huge puzzler person but I have to say through all of my uh, time in this game which is not huge but you know the the, the, the amount that I spent um, I didn't find anything wrong. I didn't find anything buggy. Uh, it's, it seems like a solid game, and for that, I, I would recommend it if you like puzzle-type games. Um, but it, it, again, it just turned into something that I don't know that I'll play regularly. And uh, part of that is the controls. It's very difficult to get, as I say, you don't know which way is up and which is down. As you work through some of these levels, um, it can be kind of difficult to, to control and um, frustrating but but i guess that's part of what makes a good game especially for a puzzler that that it is frustrating um despite the frustration and the fact that you're not going to get to see all of the times i failed um I and i, I want to stop right now i love this this picture i have to tell the if the developers watch this video i this was beautiful to me i love the uh the art scene here it was amazing actually seeing all those trees lined up behind you but anyways um where was I? Yes, the, the gameplay was uh, quite interesting. And despite the fact that I did get fairly frustrated through a lot of this, I kept playing. So I guess I guess that's another good hook or another good sign of a game when, you know, I've picked up a lot of titles and after 15, 20 minutes, I just can't stand to play it anymore. You know, the record button's off, game's closed, delete or move the game to storage. Um, I'm never touching or talking about it and I pretty much let people know um, I'm kind of a pull no punches I'll tell you yes no I do like I don't like um, despite my frustrations with this game um, it, it did keep me trying more levels um, as I would figure out aha this is how you do this stage okay well maybe um maybe I can apply that to the next one the problem with the, with that was there is a lot of variety so you're not necessarily applying everything you just learned because you might be presented with a whole new uh, scenario. You can see some from some of these too. Um, it's timing you as you do these, and um, you'll you'll notice my times are not great. And again, that that partly comes with my frustration of playing. I died on this one numerous times. Um, not this part. This part is actually okay. Um, I'll show you the part in which I died. It took me a while to figure this out. And again, part of it's determining which way you go up or down. Right here, you jump over and you come back down. And these little crystals here will kill you. And I cannot tell you how many times I tried this jump before I finally got it. Now, part of that's timing, but... And there you go. And part of your jumps, you know, if you start from a higher position, you're going to fall down like there, much deeper in the water. So while I had the key open the door, I had to go back to a place where I could get some more momentum in the water to be able to reach uh, the box to complete the stage. Um, a lot of that, again, is learning. This one was fun. Um, these little blocks can squish you. They did to me several times. And um, as a puzzler, again, it's just figuring out, okay, what do I need to do to get this key to complete the stage? I mean, in that regard, it was a very fine game. And for what it is, uh, what it is, I, I think, again, I would recommend it if this is sort of the game that you would enjoy uh, playing. Um, for me, 
I'm probably going to end up, like I said, taking a pass going going on, but it doesn't mean it's a bad game. It just means it's not a game that I particularly enjoyed and uh, that you know I'm not going to like every single thing I play. It doesn't mean I can't recommend it either. So again, if you if you like what you see, it is on Steam. Um, I would I would go and check it out. Um, you know, I, I am going to probably put in my review. Yeah, yeah, I would recommend it. The game is um, currently on sale for $8.49. Uh, regular price is just under $10, so uh, keep that in mind. But thanks again for watching, and uh, peace out.